Okay guys, sorry about audio, I don't know how well this mic's working, but um, here's a guide to A, figure out how to use ADB on your droid, very useful tool, helps you do everything, and B, uh, know how to install a multi-touch browser as an example. So first off, I'm going to link you to the site, you need to download the SDK for Android, probably in Windows, if you are, download this, I'm going to do it real quick, I already have all this installed, you go agree, download. I already have everything installed, so this is really just a demonstration. Alright, the second thing you're going to need to download is a link that I'll give you to this file. It's mtbrowser.zip. I'll show you what to do with that in a second, as soon as this Android file is downloaded, so I can show you what to do with it. Give it another 10 seconds. Go here, go show in folder, and you're going to need an extraction program. And you're going to do extract files. I don't know if you have Windows 7, but whatever you have, go here and delete everything else. Extract it directly to your C slash. Nothing, ah oh crap, no, I didn't mean to click actually. C slash, that's all you want. You're going to extract it directly to your C drive. And probably extract and replace, but I already have this installed, so it'll moan at me for replacing files, but yeah. What you'll do is you'll do that, come here in the computer, go to your C drive, and you'll find a few folders, SDK setup, these files, the tools folder, platforms, add-ons, and then Android. I take that back, it extracts it into Android slash SDK. Alright, what it actually does is extract into here, go inside of your Android slash SDK, copy all the files and bring them back out and then paste them directly into your C. Like I said, I already have this done, so we'll copy yes. Now you'll have the tools, platforms, and add-ons folder out here. It makes things a hell of a lot simpler. Uh, you can go ahead and delete this original folder. Now, we'll go through and uh, download the MT browser file. It's a .zip file. We're going to need to extract it into a folder. We'll extract it. I already did this. It comes out to here. Go inside the folder, you'll find two files. An APK file, which is a program file for Android, and an SO file, which I haven't bothered to figure out what it is yet. Copy both of these files. I use a keyboard shortcut, so my bad. And go into the Tools folder and paste them in. I already have them, so you won't get this menu, but get them in there. And, uh, main purpose of downloading this SDK is this tool, ADB. It allows you to use a lot of functions on the droid that you're not supposed to be able to use, and you can use through an emulator if you rooted, I think, after you install another program, BusyBox. But, uh, this is the starter of being able to use commands on your Android. Now, first thing you're gonna do is go to Command Prompt. However you guys get to it. I don't know if you're on XP or Vista. And you're gonna do a CD C directory and then tools. This mounts tools as your home directory and lets you use the ADB function inside of it. First thing you're going to do is ADB push. And then, let's see, which file am I copying over? <laughs> Alright, uh, you're going to want to do libmt webcore without a space. I'm stupid. SO. And that means copy this file to the SD card on your Android. Now, before this, you'll have to uh, go into the Android and enable USB debugging. Where was I? Sorry, I got interrupted. Where was I? Sorry, I got interrupted. And the capture software lagged. Um, you're going to have to go on your phone and enable the, the home button, press menu press settings, go to applications, and enable USB debugging. Let you do stuff on here. Then you'll type in this command and uh, copy this over. What we'll do is push that file to that location. You can do the same thing with the browser.apk file to slash SD card. And now you have both of those files on your SD card. And uh, next up, what you need to do is ADB shell. ADB push pushes something to a device. ADB shell puts you on the device. You need to be rooted, so you'll type in su 
If you're already rooted, then good. If not, then you'll have to go through another guide to get rooted. And it'll give you a pound sign. Now you're inside the droid. You're commanding it from this terminal. Um, what you're going to do is mount dot space dash o remount and yes I do have outside blows dash t now what this command does is uh, makes your system file rewritable it means you can modify the system now uh, after that you're gonna do dd which is a direct command input file which is the slash system slash app slash original browser dot odex file which you need to back up and you'll do output file equals slash system slash app slash browser dot o back what this does is it changes the uh... okay i already modified the file so ignore this but um... What that'll do is change the ODEX file into an OBAC file, which means that if you ever want to go back and uh, restore your original browser, just change the file system from OBAC to ODEX. And then uh, you'll have those two files on your SD card. What you need to do is go in and uh, dd if equals slash SD card slash the libmt web core file and then do output file into uh, slash system slash lib not build, lib okay <coughs> oh, apologies, I need to redo that with asex slash on the end, I believe oh no, I take that back you need to do this and then lib mt web core .so. Okay. Now it'll actually copy it over. That's what you'll get. Ignore the first command. I did that wrong. I syntaxed. Alright. What that did is push the LIB MT web core file over into the library's file. You need to do the same thing, or a similar thing with dd input file. And you'll go to SD card slash the browser uh, apk file. And then you're going to move that output file into a slash system slash app slash browser dot apk. Okay. And I'll copy that over, and bam. That's all you need to have a multi touch browser. Now it has pinch zoom, it has all the standard functions, and the uh, only thing you need to do, because this is a uh, 2.1 browser slash milestone browser, depending on where you download it from is go in and disable auto fit pages in settings in the browser otherwise it glitches out occasionally but um... go in here and type in reboot and then enter I'm not gonna do it because I don't need to boot my phone again and you should have a multi-touch browser when you boot I'll show you a video of it booting in a second alright here's all droid directly after the uh, modification and now, as you can tell, it has multi-touch, zoom to pinch, or pinch to zoom. I don't know if it does, yeah, double finger to scroll, so you don't click on anything accidentally. But yeah, easiest multi-touch browser ever.